Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Yesterday I received my new washing machine which is higher 10 kilo UV sanitizing machine. I was quite excited. Uh, I'll link previous videos above uh, in the card. You will see why I'm excited. There's a lot of new tech coming in washing machines and they're getting smarter, getting um, better for the environment. Uh, anyway, this video is not about that. This video about um, setup. Usually I receive my appliance, do unboxing, video about unboxing and then my opinion. Sometimes after unboxing, uh, setup becoming a bit challenging and I think uh, it would be a good idea to guide people through and save all the frustration about uh, setup. Uh, it looks like a really good washing machine, but I think being a um, first adopter, uh, adopter of the, of the washing machine or any appliance, um, we need to work through some glitches and imperfections. So my duty is not only report to you uh, best ways to go about this also report back to manufacturer or developers how to squash those bugs so let's talk about first impressions um, moving from 16 kilo washing machine to 10 kilo um, it's nice to have that uh, compact size of the washing machine that um, I guess more cute more manageable I've got enough space for either 16 or 10 kilos just noticeable uh, reduction in uh, volume right which is expected what wasn't expected is when a washing machine was installed and I opened the um, drum um, quite unpleasant uh, plasticky slash stinky smell coming out of washing machine I'm not sure um, what uh, compounds they use it's my second time in my life I um, had experience with that particular smell. The first one was around uh, eight years ago when I bought a toolbox and um, the case of the toolbox smelled that way and doesn't matter how I spray it, where I kept it, smell did not disappear and I really hope that uh, after a couple of washes that smell will go away. It's, it's quite an unpleasant smell. Um, to describe it, it smells like um, some sort of um, really poo. Um, it's stinky, it's intrusive, uh, it's not overpowering, it doesn't make you sick, but it's definitely not pleasant smell and uh, the washing appliance is supposed to clean your clothes, I don't want to be smelling like that. Anyway, it's a first impression. The second impression is um, um, the panel is touch sensitive. And I guess for older generation, it could be a little bit overwhelming amount of choices that on the panels, on the panel. Um, previous washing machines, we had buttons, it was easy, and then we had the knob with the programming, it was easy as well. Here, you got knob, which is, um, you choose the program and then you add your features. Um, I guess, you know, after a bit of use would be, um, I think acceptable, but the issue of impressions is I think all the generations may um, be overwhelmed by those choices. But that's not video is all about. This video is about um, setting up uh, Wi-Fi. Another excitement about uh, this washing machine for me was connecting to washing machine remotely, and instead of timing start of the washing machine. Um, if I would know how long every cycle runs, I can start washing machine at a particular time and time better uh, when uh, washing finishes. So that connection uh, goes through application that provided by uh, Hire. And this is where I guess the biggest um, problem is. So um, I've got menu here that describes well you go into that website which is uh, uh, hire.com.au uh, because we're in Australia slash smart and when you open that website it brings only two appliances smart air conditioner which is a split system and a smart air conditioner as um, um, 
think the bigger like household system but there's no washing machine so it doesn't matter what you choose out of that um, it, it anyway puts you in um, um, redirects you to website to download application called uh, hair smart air 2 nothing to do with the washing machine it would not connect your appliance and I think this is a really big oversight of uh, this manual uh, unless they will republish different application that will lead you to washing machine and anyhow um, I used Google to find um, how people connect to washing machine even the washing machine is new and Google helped me to um, get application called smart HQ not sure what that means I start application was no washing machine so it was last night so I sent developer message hey um, there's no washing machine to choose from uh, what do I do and went to sleep woke up in the morning and it had an application update unbelievable um, I did application update and washing machine appeared uh, as a choice so uh, to help you guys out there if you would like to connect um, your washing machine to Wi-Fi first of all do not use instruction manual use Google to search how to connect hair washing machine to or higher washing machine to Wi-Fi if not application called smart HQ and that application will help you to connect to washing machine another pro tip is um, the adapter inside the washing machine only work on 2.4 uh, network it won't work on 5 so if you entire Wi-Fi system in, in house it's 5 uh, I think it's gigahertz I don't remember what uh, what exactly stands for uh, if your entire network is 5 your washing machine won't be able to see your router and this is quite important so in my household I run uh, two networks 5 and 2.4 5 uh, faster but shorter and 2.4 is slower but longer and I run 2.4 for a smart home system for solar inverter and now washing machine so pro tip if your 2.4 network is not enabled you won't be able to connect to your washing machine so using smart hq application um, it says it takes 10 minutes to connect it doesn't take 10 probably 5 but with updates and everything maybe 10 minutes so it started the application a really nice guideline inside application how to connect to your washing machine when everything done you connect through and whatever you see in the front panel is visible on your application which is quite good so I still yet uh, to do first washing which actually currently running and do uh, review on washing machine itself because the whole purpose of washing machine is to wash cloth right but um, for people geeks like myself or people who just would like uh, utilize um, the whole set of features that I bought washing machine for just first one before using the first time and between unboxing and using the first time the setup frustrations the whole video is to reduce that another feature that i found that um, washing machine features auto dosing uh, and, and and my mind was um you just put powder in and would auto dose as, as needed uh, that's not the case so you've got fabric softener tray you've got uh, powder tray and you've got liquid um, uh, washing detergent tray only liquid washing detergent tray would be auto dosing so if you think that washing machine is fully automated it's not just letting you know that it's in the instructions but uh, if you would think like me oh if they auto dosing it would be any tray from there it's not it's only uh, liquid detergent what else I wanted to share well nothing else to share when I started my first wash uh, the inverter motor in, in the washing machine quite nice uh, it's significantly less loud than my previous Samsung which was quite uh, um, I would say not silent but quiet for uh, for washing machine uh, so far mixed impressions really hard and unnecessary convoluted setup um, the first uh, wash started and it's looking pretty good 
So what I'll do, I will properly review this washing machine later. This video is just to help you with the setup. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.